This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. This is part two of developing a stretch where the horse is staying connected from Trudy's legs to the rein and she picks up her back. Annie will pick up her back. Now right now Trudy's just doing her warm-up trot. You'll see she's opened her. Her whole goal is to keep a soft even feel on both range and encourage Annie to stretch her nose down and forward like that. And she'll go even lower, but it takes time for a horse to let go at that level. Good. So now as you're trotting around, you remember that feeling we had when I had the treat in front of her? See how far you can get her to stretch down and low. Good. Praise her. More forward from behind. Right there. Good. That's it. Now here's your big question, because you remember we started with feeling if the reins were alive. While you're trotting, you've got the right idea, she's stretching, but are the reins alive? Um, sometimes they're not. Right. That's right. And it can be just, it, and it's just a light feeling. The reins are alive when the horse is stepping up from their hind feet, from the rider's legs and reins, the Trudy's, into a soft connection. Good, good. So that's all you're going to add is, can you keep the rein alive as you're doing this? Carry your hands just a little. And she's, you can see she's opened up her reins so she can keep Annie's neck and head in front of her. It's just easier to open your reins when you're doing this sometimes. Good. And then you can close them as the horse gets more developed in this. And this takes time for a horse to have the strength to do it. It's new to Annie. We've been doing this type of stretch now. We've done other stretches, but nothing where we've asked her to stay this connected. Good. Keep playing with it. Praise her a lot. Keep asking her. Add curves and circles. More forward. Now you might notice that Annie is already tracking up. She could be more forward in her gait to swing more, but this is a big change for her to be able to track up at all of her gates. That's it. Good. That's right. See how much more you can get her to let go. She's stopping for treats. Good. Bring your left leg forward. So it's taken us a while to get to this point where we could ask Annie to stretch simply because she had, you know, her own issues. And a horse that's got mental and physical issues, sometimes they have a really hard time doing a real stretch where they're coming through the back. Good, good. Very nice. Now you'll notice you only hold it for a couple steps, but that's where she should be right now. Very nice. How's that feeling? Yes. You'll, you might notice she's starting to swing different from her hips and shoulders. So what this does is it gets a horse to swing from their hips and shoulders, which for dressage is important, but it's also the sign of a horse being uh, unconstrained, they call it, where there's no tension or tightness in their body or in their, mental, in their mental state. And some horses take longer than others. With Annie, it's taken about four years to get her to this point, which is not a long time because she was, uh, in it, we weren't riding her that way, asking her to stay this connected because she did have some issues to work through. So this is, this is amazing. This is very nice, Trudy. Good, try it on a big spiral. Think leg yield. Check to see if she's alive on the outside rein and leg. Good, That's, that was the right response. You send her forward. You'll be lucky if you get one or two steps. Now here's the trick. Can you get her to stretch through her back as you're doing this? Think leg yield. I forgot to tell you how hard this exercise is, Trudy. Because you can feel once you start. That's good. Praise her. It's very hard to do this stretch with spirals and stuff. It's just hard. Because as you can see, there, it's new to Trudy and Annie. Very nice. Good. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. So what do you find is the hardest thing to do when you're trotting? Where do you find you're losing your connection for the stretch? Probably in the curves. Yeah? And where do you feel her losing it? In, in, the, in, in the curves. What about in her body? At what point do you feel her, like, when you're ready, go back into a trot? And we're just going to dissect the trot, all right? Okay. So we can feel exactly where she starts disconnecting. And again, there's nothing wrong with what she's doing. We have never asked her to stay this connected at this level, right? This is a big shift for any horse. And in fact, most horses never get to this point. Yeah, I find in this direction, 
She's finding, wait, let me come up to you closer so I can hear you. This is me walking, I film as I coach. In this direction is just an old problem with me because I let my right shoulder come forward instead of keeping it back, so I lose that live connection sometimes in the right range. Oh. So I'm trying to think and say, you know, keep your shoulder back. Keep your shoulders back. And, and I keep the shoulder back, then it, that right rein gets live again. And it gets alive. And then you have to get a little floppy sometimes. Well, we, everybody does. And you also have to make sure you're always riding through the elbow. That's the hardest thing. Because yeah. if you're not riding through the elbow, you can't connect through your seat, right? Okay, let's try it at the trot again, and we're just going to separate what's happening here. It's good for you to see the process in the beginning like this. Because people think hey, those that can do the proper stretch, just the horse just automatically does it and it's easy. It's it takes a lot of a lot of practice. Trudy's actually been working on this stretch for two weeks now. Good. Annie was not able to do it at first. It takes a lot of strength for the horse to be able to let go like this. All right, that's it. Now keep asking yourself, are your reins coming from your elbows? And can you feel her staying alive on both reins? Try the outside rein first. Get her alive on the outside rein. See if she'll stretch into your outside hand. Yes. And she's only gonna do like a step maybe, all right? Good, get her to stretch her nose down and forward. It sounds so easy when I say it, doesn't it? When in fact, to get the stretch that we're working for, it's probably going to take several months for her to have the strength mentally and physically. Good. Shift her over. Think leg yield. More forward. That's it. Think leg yield. Get her to stretch on the outside rein. So like most riders who are first taking up, who are taking up a contact with their horses, head and asking them to step into it for the first time, you know, with the bit, they're only going to get one or two steps at a time. So this is exactly the process that's going to happen to you as you're working through this. Good! Praise her! There she goes! Yep, and they won't be able to drop their head as far as, like in another couple months, Annie will be able to trot with her nose almost, you know, at least to her knee, maybe lower, with her nose down and her throat latch open, but it takes a lot of strength mentally and physically for a horse to get to that point and this is just the beginning stages of that level of connection once we get her to stretch into a live rein by dropping her pole and stretching her nose down and forward then we'll start raising her head and asking her to stretch into a more balanced frame good good yep more st it's a lot of thinking isn't it good start adding curves so you can get her on that outside rein and leg. And when I say outside rein and leg, we're just asking the horse to stay in a somewhat of a frame by using the term outside rein and leg. So what she's doing, Trudy is doing, is using her inside rein and leg to shift Annie. That's how you use the leg yield feeling so that she goes more against the outside rein and leg. And you'll see it's not a tight rein at all. It's just a frame of reference. Good, outside rein, shorten it. There, there, something changed in her trot. Did you feel it? Good, get her to move more forward. That's it. Good, so now we're gonna go back to the other thing. You're gonna do 20 steps or so a stretch, 20 steps where you're going to pick up her neck and ask her to stay in that open throw it latch, nose forward frame. Again, the frame is just a point of reference. Good, keep asking, is she in the base of her neck? Good, so keep asking her, because you can feel, sometimes you feel she's closer to her ears, right? That's where, there, 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 praise her. Good, good, she won't be able to hold it long. Good, pray, that's good. That's it, so what she's doing is Trudy's actually feeling now when Annie's using her back and swinging from behind. And like, as you can see, it's going to go back and forth because that's where it should be at this point. This is only two weeks of working on the stretch. Good. Yes. It makes you ride the front end different, doesn't it? Yeah. Notice how light the reins are. She's just asking for an even feel on both reins. Keep the reins alive. Now she's got the spring in her step. Do you feel it? Change your rein across the short diagonal asking for a stretch. 
That's right, when you come back to the wall, you're going to keep the stretch until you get to the wall, and then you're going to let her pick up her head again. Good. Take your time. That's it. Ask for stretch there. So every place where she normally disconnects, and you know what those are, right? That's where you're going to ask her to stretch. Good. It's hard work, isn't it? Tell me what you're experiencing at the trot, because this is, this is so good so people can see, because this is two weeks, and it's a lot harder than it looks, isn't it? Well, it kind of goes in and out. Yes. But um, when she's stretching, I can feel her coming up in her back. Yes. And her, it feels like her stride is a little bit more open and springy. As it is. Said. Yeah. Now, mentally, what's happening with you? You'll notice it gets you tired? Yeah. Because it makes you let go, too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's the interesting thing about the stretch. Most people think it's just the horse stretching, but it makes the rider stretch their imagination in a different way too, doesn't it? It does. What a good girl, Annie. All right, go ahead and take a walk break. Give her a walk break. This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. You can see more videos of the progress of Trudy and Miss Annie by going to the playlist area of this channel, Randy Thompson Live. This is part two of stretching, and we will continue.